Good morning, my friends. Roger once again with jaw dropping moments. Well, they think they got a jaw dropped. I can drop a jaw a lot further down than that jaw. All right, they're saying they got a jaw dropping moment. Scientists discover mysterious new communication mechanism in the brain. Now, this is RT. This is Russian. Um, RT is Russian TV, I think, and uh, I've spoken with those people. I think they're good researchers. I have nothing against them at all. Russians, I think they're good people as far as I can determine. I don't know about their po politics, but I like the way they do science. Now, so they're looking into this, and they're saying researchers study stumbled upon a mysteriously previously unknown form of neural communication stunned the scientific community. Despite major scientific breakthroughs, the brain largely remains a mystery. Well, well you're not kidding. <laughs> and the team from Case Western Reserve University have added to it with their latest paper on a self <laughs> self-propagating wireless communication encountered that can jump across different sections of the brain. I'm sorry, I can't. They have added to the mysteriousness of the brain. There's just no, no accounting for it. Now, I'm going to show you something that I discovered in my research, and, and it, it blows my mind, and I think it'll blow your mind. This is a brain. I believe it's a human brain, and there's a lot to show you. And the lady that I worked with on this brain, who had found this brain and has this brain in her possession, I can't. I can't find her. I can't find the contact information. I'm very sorry. You know, I, I get so much of this stuff, and somehow I misplaced this particular. But I, I, I worked with her. A very nice person. Very nice lady. I worked with online, and um, and and, and it, it shows evidence of this is what we need to do is look at this stuff carefully look at these layers now i'm going to show you a little detail and the mitchell hedges the whole thing it's all true and they're just missing everything it's very distressing all right this is a, a brain that was sent to me and i can't you know i didn't i didn't get the brain i got all the pictures and i, I discussed this you know online i didn't actually talk to the to the lady but we, we went through all of this, and look look at the layers. This is a brain. This is a human brain. I'm almost certain of it. It's a brain for sure. That is the esophagus. There's a piece of tongue. It's a piece of the tongue. That is the sinus cavity membrane. This is the gray matter of the brain, and this is it all stripped down and clean. You know, by the time she got a hold of me, she had already had it cleaned up and, and all cleaned like this, which is good. That's okay. I have no problem with that. People say, oh, you got to leave it like this. No. How are you going to know what's inside there? I'm good with taking, you know, make sure you document what you have. That's okay. But look what it is. These are layers. They're actual layers. Now, are we jumping across these regions? Are every one of these, like, a parallel processing zone? When I was in... I was in the semiconductor industry and programming and all that business. And, and there was serial processing, parallel processing, then they went to hyper-threading and all these different cores added. These, each one of these can be a core. Maybe this is where you, you know, I mean, they say, oh, we know this and we know how that works and we see this light up and that light up. Well, maybe it's lighting up, shooting down to this layer. The boards we used to deal with had four, five, six, ten layers inside that 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 phenolic board and they were metalized layers and they would have rings running down through them and one layer would access a, the fifth layer down because that's where that processing was done it would be input output it would be uh, uh, say um, a printer driver section one would be um, something for this was all in uh, all kind of peripherals it ran so uh, who knows but they don't understand that. I, I guarantee you there's not a single medical person or researcher of any nature, scientist, or even any other human being on the face of the planet except for this woman and, and me and a couple people that have seen what I've showed about this. This is not understood. You've you got to get to mud fossils before you can understand this. The body is so, so, so different than, than is being advertised uh, in the mainstream. Now, you don't have to be a genius. All you have to do is be a kid that knows how to color inside the lines. <laughs> you see these, these stripes? Look at over here. What do you see here? It's exactly identical. It's identical. It's identical. The back here, the reason there's a clear here and it's pushed forward is instead of this ball being in the back where it should be, 
this guy was laying on his face and you see his lip is wrinkled up and everything you see that nobody carves a face with a wrinkled, wrinkled lip and his nose crushed in and his chin that head was laying this way that's why the brain moved forward and this became filled this jaw comes right off just like a and here's the thing the only single thing that anybody can say about this skull that detracts from its authenticity is the absolute flawlessness of the teeth and I looked at it and I gotta be honest with you they are pretty good man I wish I had them but there was a time on earth when it was called the golden race and people were perfect that's what it said they were perfect in every way they're perfect in every way and that's I mean that's the only single thing that anybody can point to to say why they don't believe this is true the only single thing and I've looked at this thing in extreme detail in detail that no one else will ever look at all of the different porosity in the jaw where the tendons implant where the muscles work everything the cavities of the eyes I've looked at every single detail of that and I guarantee you 100% that that is absolutely no question whatsoever unimpeachable that was created by God and nothing to do with anybody it is impossible, absolutely impossible to do that. You just look, you know, even a two-year-old will understand that. But you take a PhD, they will never, ever, ever get it. They will fight against anything that, that goes against what they've already decided is their facts. Believe me, I've been six years against this, and I have never seen weaker minds in my life. I'm telling you, that's just a fact. I'm sorry, it's a fact.